Mike's Daily Podcast. 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 Mike
my mom who passed last year is thinking about it because my mom also sailed. She had a catamaran. She had, I think it's called, it was called a Lido, a Lido 14, I think it was the name. And yeah, she loved to sail. We had, we, we downsized to a little Sabbath, which is like a, a bathtub with a sail sticking out of it. And that was so much fun. We'd go all around the harbor in the Channel Islands Harbor in Oxnard near Ventura. Fun times in California. Yes, so I I love getting out on the water. It's a lot of fun, but a lot of responsibility involved. The Daily Haley. The Almost Daily Haley. I was going to tell you an interesting thing or two here at Cafe Anyway, where all these fine people are enjoying themselves, you know. I hope all the people enjoy when they come to Cafe Anyway that row of pictures on the wall of all the people who have been Cafe Anyway fans and maybe even Santa Fe Cafe fans from the days I was on Cahe in Ventura County back in the 90s and the O's. And after, so I left Cahe to work at a station called KBBY. I was there for a while and then left there to go to Alabama to work at a station called 93.3 The Wolf in Huntsville, Alabama. And I found some audio from one of the times I was on the air. And it was basically this time of year. It was October 28th of 2008. And it was fascinating to listen to. It was a good sounding station for that type of music for country. It was like hot country. And we had some, it it was cool. It sounded just upbeat and awesome. And unfortunately, the fine company of Cumulus decided to let a whole bunch of people go. And I got caught up in that. So I lost that job, even though I was doing a fantastic job, but as evidenced by this tape I was listening to, which was actually digital. It was a recorded digital recording. It was not a cassette. Like some of the other stuff I play for you as we go outside a cafe anyway, anyway, where we bring you Mike's daily podcast somewhere in podcast row Valley, the last place on earth. In fact, you go, go to the show about a week ago. We did play some K Hey stuff. On the segment Let's go back with Matthews We might do that On the next podcast So speaking of country artists There's a country artist You may have heard of Named Taylor Swift Who's gone pop For all intents and purposes She's pop So She has been dating Some Guy From the world of Football And he, uh, let's see. Safety is a major concern for Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Is it Tr- Travis Kelsey? I'll say Kelsey. That sounds about right. I think I heard someone say it that way. There is a general concern about their safety due to their high profile romance. A source says that the relationship is going well and Travis has his family, his family's full support. Travis and Taylor Essentially the couple is appreciative Of their fans but hope to keep some Aspects of their relationship private going Forward They spent Halloween together in Kansas City Missouri And many people across the country Dressed like them including Mitt Romney Kelly Ripa Huh So they're very famous And it's Interesting because Kansas City's Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey was dang near dead broke, he says, despite a contract worth $3.12 million and a $703,000 signing bonus. He said he bought Nike Air Mag Marty McFly's. Those shoes go for $10 thousand dollars the dumbest thing i ever bought with my rookie money was bottles in the club the cutting corners quarter corner da, 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 da. the cutting corners corner mike's out of left field recordings 
recording everything. Captures actions that will never again be repeated. People want to live that lifestyle. They've seen the music videos. They've seen the, the movies. And they want to be part of that. So eventually he had to avoid his rent lady, Travis did. He is no longer broke, of course. And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program with Mike Matthews. Machi, machi. That 46 million, he signed another deal worth just over 57 million dollars. He also makes an estimated three million dollars a year outside of football. We love you, Mike. And of course, being with Taylor Swift helps give you a monetary boost. It appears people in her orbit tend to make. A lot of money The attorney general of 41 states And the District of Columbia Have unfriended Mark Zuckerberg Meta was slapped with a sprawling Lawsuit alleging it intentionally Designed Instagram and Facebook with addictive features It knew were harmful for younger people Who get addicted to This stuff The suit states Instagram creates a compulsive Use That disruptive design features interfere with a younger user's education and sleep. Hmm. As someone who uses Instagram and who does not use TikTok, I I have said the reason why I don't use TikTok is A, I'm too old. People in my age bracket should not be using TikTok. It is designed for younger users. In fact, everything that Meta... Is being accused of TikTok is doing that and then Whoa. some. Mike's Matthewsman Park. 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 The front panel will close automatically. Please remain seated at all. You're time. swiping. You're you're. It's picking up on what you like to see. It keeps showing you stuff. More stuff. More stuff. Instagram, from what I've seen, and I don't use the app on my phone. I just use the desktop version. The Marco Minute. The Marco Minute. Ginormous. And I, I hear the bus outside a cafe anyway doing the beep beep. Just, oh, oh it's over yonder. If y'all want to jump on that bus and head out, I understand. You got to get, you got to make it home. Your loved ones are missing you. So what it does, Instagram is far less uh, addictive and awful and everything they're saying here than TikTok. I don't get it. it. But they're saying it's interfering with young users' education and sleep, which is what TikTok does. But they're not saying that. They're saying Meta's doing it. Meta does not own TikTok. I know they do wish they did. Meta's own internal research concluded that its platforms do not present mental health risks to young users. Nearly one-third of teenage girls admitted that Instagram warped their perception of their bodies. Okay, I can see that. It is a photo-based app. Which, well, it's also doing video. It's trying to mirror Snapchat, mirror TikTok. This finally might force Meta to create guardrails. You have to be a certain age to use it. Hmm. I don't see that happening. The genie's out of the bottle. California residents leave the largest tips, the highest amount of money in tips, the largest gratuity in the U.S. with an average tip percentage of 22.69%. So over 22% of tips. Uh, of the uh, of the bill of they tip 22% over 22% is how i should say that <laughs> and speaking of california california has also suspended you've heard of this general motors cruise unit they're not supposed to operate the driverless vehicles in california saying they're not safe for public roads and that company officials misrepresented the details of an accident with a pedestrian where the pedestrian was dragged by a cruise, a, a driverless cruise vehicle. So outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth, look who's here. 
Hello, my gosh, it's Madame Rudebega. All of that is very interesting. Ooh. Did you enjoy Halloween? Yes. Did you get lots of candy? Yes. Did you then try to take that candy, turn around, and give it to kids the next year? No. I mean, well, that I should have asked that in the past tense. My grammar's all off. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Did you know that one in two Americans skipped their flu shot last year? We'll travel into the incredible universe. There is a flu... There's falling flu vaccination rates in the U.S. 49.6% of Americans, almost half, skipped their flu shot during the 2021 to 2022 flu season. And vaccination rates fell among all age groups. 30 states also saw flu vaccination rates drop last year. With vaccination rates in 22 states under 50%. This according to LendingTreeNews.com That sent me that Little Report And it actually came from ValuePenguin.com Who did a search on that The CDC estimates that Influenza results in 9 to 41 million Illnesses To almost 710,000 hospitalizations And to nearly 52,000 deaths annually Over the past decade It also found that states with a low flu vaccination rate Like Mississippi Often rank among the states with the most flu and pneumonia related deaths The annual flu shot is free for those who have medical insurance, Medicare or Medicaid, and widely available everywhere from doctor's offices to retail stores. But the flu season just getting started. Woo! So I have found that for those who don't have, oh, it also says for those who don't have a kind of health, any kind of health insurance, a flu shot isn't free. It can be between $25 to $110. Wow. Even those who don't have insurance may be able to get the shot for free via local government, employer, religious organization, and community organization run flu clinics. Kids can also get free flu shots from the CDC's Vaccines for Children program. Kombucha! Wow. And I remember going on my, uh, the, the hospital, the, the health care what am I trying to say? The people that I use for my doctor. My the, the health agency. It's not Kaiser, but it's something like that. They just now, within the past week or so, have gotten enough COVID vaccines that I'll be able to get one locally before I was going to have to drive clear out to Sacramento or some crazy thing. But now it's available. I'm finding it more available with me and possibly with you as well. But that's... What's going on with that? Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is Valentino the Parking Attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Wow, Floyd, I didn't know you were hanging out with these guys over there at the parking lot uh, booth that they hang out at. Yeah, Mike, it's a lot of fun. We're having a great time. We're trying to eat the rest of this Halloween candy that the kids didn't take because I'm Floyd the Floor Man. Yeah, Mike, we really enjoy eating candy, even though it's bad for us. And I think this is like National Diabetes Awareness Month. So we're doing the wrong thing, D. Yeah, diabetes is bad. Do you know that? Yes, it has dye in the name. So, yes, try to avoid it as best you can. Avoid the sugar, everybody. So my neighbor, who I see down the street during Halloween... She's, she offers candy to me like twice. I say no. The Fascinating Material Project. FM Project. FM Project. FM Project. Hey, kids. No, it's just an instant no. I don't have any desire for candy. Now, if you were to offer me... It's me. I don't know, calamari or stuffed mushrooms or some kind of nice appetizer... I will go for that. Don't read me the clown. No can do. I can do with that. But I'm talking to her and her family 
my lovely lady friend and I are talking to them. We haven't seen them in a while. And this girl walks up and she's uh, she's probably a teenager, but she is wearing a painting on her, a, a canvas. She's got like a canvas tied to her. And, but she's wearing black. A fine article. Cool, 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 cool. You silly, great, fat article. Article. This other young lady shows up, and she's got a full-on Bob Ross hair wig. And Bob Ross, well, she's got like a, a beard that she's <laughs> painted on her face. And so it was Bob Ross and a painting. It was fantastic. And, and one of the two had actually done the painting on the canvas. It was brilliant. We were all the my neighbors and my lovely lady friend and I were like that's that's the best thing I've seen all year so far. Great, great job. I can never come up with clever costumes. Ugh. And the other frustrating thing is a show that I really got into with my lovely lady friend called Unforgotten. It was on Masterpiece on PBS. And they did one of these things that you say to yourself, wow, I guess the show's going to be different now because of what they did. So I know there's a new season of it that I can't watch on the current service that I have, but I'm going to have to buy a different service to watch the latest season. But it was good. But it is a bunch of lying liars and how they lie because everybody's it's always about a cold case. And the people that they interview, oh, I don't remember a thing. Of course, they remember everything. Oh, I don't know how that person died. Yeah, you remember because you killed them. It's just a bunch of lying going on. But you know what? I'm not lying to you. I'm being honest. All those stories did, in fact, happen that I discussed on the show. And, well, I got the photos to prove it. Well, except I don't have pictures of the Bob Ross uh, costume, duo costume. But it was cool. Gosh. Well, maybe my lovely lady friend and I will steal it for next year. Oh, if you are listening to this on the 5th, this just in. It's National Donut Day. I think it's National Donut Day a couple times during the year. I've seen that before. It's National Love Your Red Hair Day for all of you. I think, uh, didn't Bob Ross kind of have a reddish hair? And when I did have hair, it did have a slight red tinge to it. And yes, daylight savings time. It ends on the 5th, early in the morning, which means you get an extra hour of sleep. You're welcome. But it means for us people in radio and uh, we're operations managers, some of us, those of us that are operations managers, it's quite a busy time of year. All kinds of crazy things can happen when we fall back and you're dealing with all kinds of instrumentation that allows the station to run on the air and goofy things can happen. Hopefully that won't happen, but that's all. And that came from the national day calendar.com people. And I want to thank you for listening. If you would like to chime in about anything we covered today, chime, chime away like a chime, like chimes that, Oh, sound. I should be hearing chimes with the light wind blowing just now, but I do not. I haven't hung any up. But if you do have some chimes that you've hung up and you want to chime away, you can give me a call at this number. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. And with more ways to reach me, it is A-Frame. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.